Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM1019. Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter 1, Launch of the Screaming Narwhal. So, when we last left off, we entered this jungle. Not a whole lot going on, but there's this portly pirate here. I guess we should start by talking to him. Hi. Ah, who are you? I'm Guybrush Threefoot, mighty pirate. And you are? Joaquin Jacinto de Mera Alfonso de Oro, treasure hunter extraordinary. Okay. What are you doing down there? What were you doing down there? Nothing. It looked like you were playing with dolls. They're not dolls. They're fully articulated porcelain power pirates. Uh, what are porcelain power pirates? What in the name of Davy Jones's closet organizer are porcelain power pirates? They're the rarest and coolest action figures ever. I've been tracking them with the Porcelain Power Pirate treasure maps, hidden in special boxes of Porcelain Power Pirate pear flavored breakfast cereal. I've spent years tracking them down, and I've almost got the full set. Uh-huh. How many do you have left? How many PP Pirates do you have left? The only Power Pirate I have not found is the Ultra Rare. Impossible to find a dark ninja Dave with killer karate katana. I thought I might find it here on Flotsam Island, but I got scammed. Scam? Chase, some guy in a plaid jacket with waving arms sold me a ninja Dave map, but he just keeps sending me in circles. Oh, jeez. Sounds like our friend Stan. Um, what makes him so rare? What makes dark ninja Dave so rare? Because a bunch of pirate parents had him banned on account of his pointy killer karate katana accessory. They said it was a choking hazard. Wimps. Huh. Um, can I... Uh, did the winds bring you here? Did the wind shipwreck you on Flotsam Island too? Yes, but I came here voluntarily in search of the elusive Dark Ninja Dave porcelain power pirate action figure. And what's the pink pile about? What's that big pink pile of dolls? Action figurines. Okay, what's that big pink pile of action figurines over there all about? Those are my extra pink pajama pierres, the lamest and least valuable of the porcelain power pirates. I love pink pajama pierre with the white hot intensity of a million exploding cannonballs. Oddly specific. Um... Your name is Doro? Can I call you Doro the Explorer? <laughs> no. I love that joke. <laughs> I knew that was coming and I still love that joke. Um, can I look at the map? Mind if I take a look at that map? Take it. It's useless. Well, I'll let you know if I find anything. You're sure this Dark Ninja Dave is a valuable treasure, right? It's the stuff that dreams are made of. Porcelain dreams. Uh-huh. What kind of treasure do you hunt? What kind of treasure do you hunt? Gold doubloons? Silver triploons? Anyone can find gold or silver. I look for the rarest of pirate treasures. I'm almost certain I'm going to regret asking this, but what is the rarest of all pirate treasures? Porcelain power pirates. Yep, knew it. <clears throat> uh, hey, look. Look, it's a Ninja Day figure with throwing star action. Quick. I'll just help myself to one of these, I guess. Okay, Guybrush. It's only a little porcelain. Just close your eyes and go to your happy place. Ew. I, I didn't see anything. Sorry, it must have been a leaf. Hmm. So, I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. I just have a feeling I probably need one. Okay, well... Let's take a look at this map, actually. That jungle sure is noisy. Hmm. So... Oh, you know what? I think I remember this. So, this doesn't really... This is an awful map. But the only hints to it are the animals 
So I think this is a noise-based puzzle. Starting from wherever these winds are coming from, I have to follow the noise. So let's go looking, I guess. Okay, so that's bees. Okay, here we go. So there's a wishing well here. Uh oh. Okay, let's not do that again. So, from here... Alright, pigs, monkeys, bees. Let's start with that. Pigs. Ooh, bombs! Smiling stands young Miss Mini Bombs. All the punch of larger mini bombs packed into a smaller package for petite pirate hands. You know, I better just take all of them. Okay, Link. All right. Uh, monkey. Ooh, what's this? Mm, curious. Hmm. Guess that'll come in handy some other time. All right, bees. Um. Whoop! Shoot. That jungle sure is noisy. Monkeys, pigs, bees. Nope. Nope. Monkey. Oh, rats. I think I screwed up. Alright, now I gotta start over. Okay, so from the wind. Pigs, monkey, bees. Alright, pigs, monkey, bees. Pigs... Wait. That's to the wind. Monkeys. Bees. Monkey. Bees. Pigs. And then it was bees again, right? If this Morgan LaFlay pirate oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That jungle sure is pigs, noisy. monkey, bees, monkey, pigs, bees, birds. So, bees. And then, what is this? Well, what sort of hideous sacrificial rites were performed on this ancient altar? Hmm. Tastes like chicken. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, so that's monkeys. Birds. Okay, I'm back here. Why? That should have led me to the X marks the spot. Hmm. Alright. Oh, you know what? Do I have to start at the entrance? I think I do. So, if that's bees... Alright. Follow the wind. Oh, nope. That just takes me to... I forgot Flotsam was this big. Okay, let's start over. So I have to find the well. Okay, so here's the wishing well. We're gonna get this right, folks. That jungle sure is noisy. All right, pigs, monkey, bees, monkey, pig, bees. Pigs. Monkeys. Bees. Nope. Oh my god. No. Start over. All right. Pigs. Wait, is this... Am I getting this clue right? What, what was... What was that? Oh, I'm just seeing this from another oh, angle. Curious. Yeah, okay. Alright, so I need to start over there because I, I have a feeling I'm not getting this sound clue right. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like pigs. Alright. 
Monkey. Bees. Monkey. Man, I gotta stop running. Because that's what's screwing me up. I think that was the pig. And then... Oh! What the heck? What? Another clamshell lock. Mm, curious. Alright. Um... <sighs> I remember this being a problem with this puzzle before. The answer's pretty obvious. I just can't get it right. Alright. Pigs. Monkey. Bees. Monkey. Pig luck. Pig. Nope. Bees. And then birds? Yeah, birds. Nope. And somehow I'm back here. Hmm. Let me make sure there's not one other clue I'm missing. That jungle sure is noisy. From the well, follow the pigs, follow the monkeys, follow the bees, follow the monkeys, follow the pigs, follow the bees, follow the birds, and then should be X marks the spot. I don't know what part of this I'm getting wrong. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh, let's stop for a hint. Actually, yeah, I do have the hints on. I just, hmm. I don't remember how to trigger hints in this game. Unless I just gotta sit around and do nothing, but, um. Let's see. <laughs> Hold on. So, like, uh, just like last time I'm um I am uh employing the universal hint system just have to find yeah 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 okay how do I use the map let's see wishing well hand holding a scroll so I think this might be fixed, so let's... Either that or I'm just doing one step wrong. So, let's start over. Oh, you know what? Here, let's do this. There we go. Alright, so here's the well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go to the well. Take the lower left fork. Lower left, huh? There's only... Wait a minute. Go to the well. Oh, okay. And use the map. Oh! So, here's what I'm... Yeah, I was doing something wrong. I had a feeling I was supposed to do this, I just wasn't sure. Okay, there we go. So, so I didn't... I didn't set the map. That's what I didn't do right. Okay. So, uh... Pigs, monkey, bees, monkey, pigs, bees. Pigs. This looks promising. Yep, here we go. Monkeys. So far, so good. Bees. Monkeys. This looks promising. Pigs. Bees, and then birds. There we go. X marks oh, the spot. Dang. Looks like someone already dug up this treasure. 
Okay, so, actually, I think I remember this part. So, I... Someone's already dug up the treasure, but... I bet you I can fool him into thinking that he found it. Like, I can't just... Idea, but I don't think Dora would be interested in digging up another pink pajama Pierre. Right. So, I have to trick uh, Doro into thinking that he found a, um... Uh, a Dave. So, cool, now I can go directly to the buried treasure, so that helps. Can't really visit anything else here, so let's go back. Hmm. Shortcut. Yep, so... Good, now there's a shortcut there. Hmm. Is anything on this island changed? Oh, I've got bombs now. So Unicorns! Get your hand blown glass, unicorns! So let's see. There was a trick to this. I think I have to turn this crank. Okay, he doesn't seem to care. Um Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. I'm trying to remember, so I, I I know what the solution is, but I'm just trying to remember, um, if, first of all, if I need any of these. Hey, there's something in this sock. Oh. Club 41, probationary member number 37, Reginald Van Winslow. Oh, hey, this look at that. Handy. Okay, I did need that. Um, puh, 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 puh. I need to crank this. Was I supposed to have him go the other way? Ahoy there, Master Threepwood! I found your membership card! Keep it! In my book, possession is seven twelfths of the law! <laughs> I was told there would be no mat! Uh, okay, well. Be seeing ya! I look forward to it! So, the long and short of this is that I need to use one of these bombs and get it into these pants and then kind of trick him into, uh, um, into, uh, I can't, I, cranking this while I'm on the, on the rope so that he gets the bomb to him and puts me back off. I just don't remember how to turn this crank without him interfering with it. Well, let's come back to that. We've got a membership card to Club 41, so... Card. Card? Oh yes, my membership card. Here you go. Very good, Captain Van Winslow. Here's your blindfold. Blindfold? Come now, sir. You know the rules. All probationary Club 41 members must wear blindfolds inside the club. Right. How silly of me. Very good, sir. Find the step. I've heard you make a mean gragatini. Mean nachos! I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm really sorry. Ow! <laughs> Get him! Ow! Oh, out for his head! <laughs> Driftwood, best pirate brew haha I've seen in months. I don't know what got into me. It was like my hand was possessed or something. Possessed, you say? Hmm. Sounds like there may be a follow-up story there. He feed me these boffo pirate stories, Driftwood. I'll be handing over the secrets of Deep Cut before you know it. Well, that's one task down, and that was easy, I guess. We started a bar fight. Uh, now we just need to find treasure and get the screaming narwhal, I think. I'm sure that there's... Well, alright, whatever. Has anything changed at this house? Nope, still busy. Unicorns! Get your hand-blown glass, unicorns! 
So, I need to find buried treasure, and what else do I need to do? Davey, what do you got for me, sleep good? Uh, tell me about these again. About those acts of piracy. Fire away, kid. I'm a font of information. What do you want to know? Uh, so. All right, yeah. So I just got to seize the ship and find buried I'm treasure. Drawing a blank. I hate it when that happens. Bye. Keep up the pirating, kid. I'm rooting for you. All right. So I still need to turn this doll into a. Dave Dow. I don't think I can combine. Yeah, nothing there. Um, what did I need this U for? Wait a minute. Hold on. I think I remember something. I'm just. I've. I've got a theory. I'm just gonna follow it really quick. Alphabet sale. I don't suppose. I think that a YouTube would be useful there. No, okay. YouTube wasn't for any of these, right? Where are you going, Guybrush? I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. You walked all the way over there to tell me that I couldn't use the pants with it? Oh, the screaming narwhal. Okay, um... I got plenty of bombs, apparently, so I'm just gonna try screwing with them. Uh, you just put the bomb back in your pants? What are you doing, man? I don't want to blow that up. Uh, okay. It's a good thing Winslow's undies have so much crotchal support. <laughs> okay. So that's the answer. And then, do I turn the crank now? Oh, yeah. He didn't... Oh. Yeah. Those are some sturdy undies. <laughs> yeah, I have to redirect his attention. I'm pretty sure that's part of the problem. Um. Oh, you know what? No, I'm overthinking this. All right, hold on. positive I'm overthinking this now. Pick up the bomb. There you go. And then just take the rope this time. There we go. No, don't, please. Yep. <laughs> You'll have to be a lot sneakier than that if you want to knock me off, lad. Oh, I wouldn't say that. What? Clever boy. Well played, Master Threepwood. Or should I say, Captain Threepwood? Captain? Aye, now that you've bounced me off the screaming narwhal, you're officially its captain. Until someone else comes along and knocks you off. Sweet. I bloody well sweet it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some massive internal hemorrhaging to attend to. <laughs> Congratulations. Massive internal hemorrhaging. I just got a tip. There's some kind of one piracy going on around here. Not just any wants in piracy. A genuine ship seizure committed by none other than Captain Guybrush Streetwood. Mighty pirate. Guybrush is one word. Wonderful! I could probably get a week's worth of stories out of this. We'll keep up the swashbuckling three pod, and I'll be forking over the secrets of Deep Gut in no time. Okay, that's two out of the three. Uh, let's uh, take a look at our new ship. Welcome aboard, sir. Ben Winslow? What are you doing here? If it's all right with you, Captain, I'd like to stay aboard as your first mate. I don't know. Aw. 
Um, I mean, I don't want you trying to seize the ship. I really don't. Jolly good, sir. You won't regret it, mark my words. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe some of my stitches have popped. I'll meet you here if the winds ever change. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, guess that's that. All right, so clearly we're not taking this anywhere right now. Doesn't this have a... Oh, hey, a cannon. Oh, and a block of cheese. That'll come in handy for a something. Monster. Yeah. Still, maybe I'll find some starving rats who will eat it. Hey, it's one of those spiffy new Hungarian easy action cannons I've been begging Elaine to let me buy. Whoa. The wind's really doing a number on that cannonball. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> mm, I'm sure that won't happen the same time twice. Uh, yeah, third time's a charm. All right, I'm just being dumb. <laughs> I know that'll keep happening. Can I go inside the quarters? I'll sleep when I'm dead. Yeah. Or later tonight. Okay. Uh, here's a map. It's a detailed map of the entire Gulf of Melange. This thing will come in handy if I ever get off this Schlinger Island. Okay. Well, time to leave. Better take a look at the damage I just caused. Aw, the unicorns. Come back later. We're closed until I can replace all me inventory that someone rasted into Hades and back. Yeah, what kind of jerk would do that? I don't know. But when I find that stuffer scraper, I'll shove one of me bottles so deep up his fundament. Arr. What's a fundament? <laughs> so... I needed to do that for some reason. I just can't remember what it is. Um, I can't look at like. Ah, uh, there was there was a reason for this. I just don't remember what. Man. Well, blow me down, glass first. Hmm. Alphabet sale. Three vowels while supplies last. All right. Well, I still have the vowel. I just don't know what I can use it for. Hmm. And I still have to figure out how to change the uh Ooh, I could go for a good grog right now. Or even a bad one. I don't remember if that was a hint or not. Is that how hints work in this game? Go for a grog. Or even a bad one. I don't think that's a hint. Because I can't just go back into the club. Or can I? Um. Yeah. Nope, that ain't happening. Um. Ooh. What the? You put one of those miniature swords with an olive in my grogatini. I hate those things. Oh, okay. That's a piece of the puzzle I needed. Because now I can take this and this... Hey, what do you know? That little teeny sword fits right into Pierre's little teeny hand. It still doesn't look very fearsome, though. Yeah, now I just need to make him black. Um. Oh, I bet you there's some tar on the ship. Oh, hey. Three vowels. Get him while you replace those really back. quick. Aye, so you are. What can you tell me about Flotsam Island? Well, you probably already know about flats of infernal winds. But has anyone told you about the reefs? The reefs? Aye, the crystal reefs of Flotsam Island. Sharper than a dragon's tooth, they be. They encircle the island, shredding in a ship foolish enough to get caught in Flotsam's winds. Yikes. Hmm. I'll let you return to your fancy schmancy glass blowing. Aye, and I'll let you return to being a pest. I don't remember him, like fixing all these. Wow. 
Never thought I'd see a pirate selling glass unicorns for a living. Hey, and I never thought I'd see a talking baboon. So I guess we're even. Okay, rude. Um, let's see. This is the only lead that I have. Otherwise, I'll have to be looking for another hint. But... Yup, there's a tar barrel. Let's take this. I don't think anything short of explosive force is going to open up that tar barrel. Oh, for real? Um... Explosive force? That's a tightly sealed barrel of tar, used for patching up cracks and hazing bosuns. Uh huh. And I'm out of bombs. I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. I don't think anything short of explosive force is going to open up that tar barrel. Yeah, I. Uh, darn, I thought I need another bomb or something. That's the main mast of the screaming narwhal. All right. Main tree. Well, I'm going to need some time to figure this out. Uh, so I guess this is a good place as I need to stop. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Make sure you tune in next week for the, con uh, the continuation of the series. Check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Go to officialytr.com slash forums for more YTR and GSL fun. And check me out at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. And I'll see you next time. So take care. Bye bye. Thank you.